Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 13th of April. We have a few new mods today. We have a load of updates. The updates. We start top left with three map updates. Uh, Le Rizai del Nord by Black Eyes Modding. Uh, Le Santerre by AG Modding. Big Fields Farm by Ninja Kurt. Then we are on to the John Deere 1270G series by Woodcraft Modding and the John Deere 1110, 1210-1510G by Woodcraft Modding. The 1270G says new, but it has a change log. That is an update. We've had them before, as far as I can tell. Um, back to the bottom line, the Pickup F1000 Brazil by Conta Comigo Modding, the Pickup F250 Brazil by Conta Comigo Modding, the Seppi Multipla S9 by Black Eyes Modding, Back to the top left again, the Three Point Forklift by RL Modding FSI Group, the Lizard Sam 600L by Pushcap and Castan 18, the Case IH Puma Tier 4B by Blower, the Kvernland Tarup 12040D by STV Modding, the Lizard Harrow Wing 16 by Mantrid, the Lizard Rumble Van by DD Mod Passion, the IA Fertilizer and Salt Spreaders by TF2020 Mods, the Big Horse Stable by SN Modding LSMT Modding Team, and lastly, the Grain Quid Storage by Missy B and the Silo Facility by Missy B have all had updates today. I told you there were a lot. One of those updates then is this. Um, I'm, I'm looking at this because of one of the things that was written down and I thought it might cause some confusion and I wanted to double check myself. In front of me we've got the Grain Quid Storage by Missy B. Now there were two of hers were updated over the last two I read I think, were they? The change log says 1.5.0.0. Actually, point... <sighs> fuck's sake. The change log... 1.5.0.0 reads increased capacity added bales destroy trigger increased mod desk version 53 now capacity as far as i recall these were quite large capacity anyway the grain quid storage will do grain crops and liquids this will hold everything a multi multi fruit silo the capacity has been increased to 15 million liters bonkers but the bale destroy trigger, I think the wood silo by o Omatana, there might be a couple of others knocking around at the moment that do this. If I bring bales to the silo, I can unload bales into the silo to store them. So if I've made bales, rather than shred them, unload and unload here, they will disappear. If I check into my menu there, I've got, I've already did check with eight straw so i've got 32,000 liters of straw 32,000 liters of hay now what that has done is put that as now a loose product if i come back to get that i can't get bales back out though it destroys them it shreds them puts the bales in and then puts them in as a loose product so when i come back they'll come out as a loose product especially if you want to mix with tmr or something like that it kind of gives you the best of both worlds so you can still do bales if you want to, but you can store them like this rather than, you know, hitting that capacity, that 200 bale limit. Um, but I just thought I'd have a look and double check to make sure that's what it does. And that's exactly what it did. So uh, there we go. The Grain Quid Storage by Missy B. Uh, I'm doing this kind of a weird way around today. Maybe not. This is the Westphalian Brick Barn. Uh, Westphalia is the northwestern part of Germany. It's 12.82 megabytes download. It's by Domindana. It is 28 slots on console. This is also a silo. We've got a little side storage bit of building here. This left-hand door slides to the middle. But what I'm going to do is put that back. Because I want to show you something else. The right-hand door goes no problem at all. The middle door, if I stand here and press circle, as you can see, it barely moved. This one, you can keep your finger on circle and it will do it all the way, or you can do it in the increments. To bring it back, I have to press square to close it. And again, increments, or if I keep my finger on it, it will close completely. Whereas normally, if I just press circle and walk away, so the two outer doors will work as normal, and the middle door 
we'll do it in increments or if you keep your finger on circle and then to close it the finger on square you can do the middle door now it does have a light switch which is just here nicely textured nicely detailed it is a drive-through so if i do the same with the doors the other side plenty of room for storing equipment and machinery and whatever else you want to put in here the silo portion is here when i get to here if i press circle it opens that up putting into the silos done here taking out the spout is just there we do have a door to the side section here I mean I think that's just the storage sections of the silo oh yeah light switch must forget that so yeah all in all not bad not a bad size like I say lovely detailing 150,000 litres. This is a regular silo. It's not a multi fuel or anything like that. You'll find it under silos. The Westphalian and Bricker Barn. It's only 60,000 for a 150,000 litre silo. Plus you kind of get the rest of the shelter on there as well. Which I think is not a bad price actually. Slot count will drop down from 28 to 2. If any subsequent one after that. You place. That's by Dermindener. Next. We've got we've got branded branded dog houses by Mappers Paradise. This is 3.61 megabytes download. There are three slots each. And there are three of them. Now I know there's normally a bit of argy bargy between John Deere and Case fans. There's a John Deere version. There's a Case version, and there's a Fent version. So I went with the Fent. You go for the Fent. The dog's called FIFO. Now unfortunately, you can only place one. Um, doghouse at a time but I'll show them anyway works same as usual L3 puts feed in to feed the dog you can walk up and you can pet the dog and you know you can throw the ball and all that kind of stuff all that great stuff <laughs> branded dog kennels well anyway under animal pens so the John Deere doghouse 275 three slots the case doghouse 275 three slots and the Fent doghouse 275 if you place one slot count goes down to one but you can't place multiples unless i suppose you're a multiplayer when you probably could place more each farmer would probably be out to have one um so there you go the book the brand dog house by mappers paradise next we've got the man man tgs shortwood i've honestly lost count of how many of these we've had there's a couple of little tweaks to this. You've got this guard here on the windscreen, which I quite like, with the MAN logo kind of etched out of it. Laser cut, plasma cut, whatever. Now, it says short wood. That looks the same as all the other lengths we've had, as far as I can tell. But anyway, regardless, it has got um, a rear trailer hitch. This is 16.66 megabytes download. It's by HR Forst und Fahrzeugbau. Be warned, when I downloaded this, it automatically installed the Lizard Shortwood Trailer Pack, which is 18.98 megabytes, also by HR4 Forst und Fahrzeugbau. So it downloaded the other one as well. It's designed to go with that Shortwood Trailer Pack. I'm, I'm sure we had one from them recently, which was it seemed almost identical. But... Options available. You'll find it under vehicles. Oh, it's 43 slots, by the way. Sorry, 43 slots for the first one. If we go to forestry machines, 180 grand to buy, 500 horsepower. We can change the rim colour to anything on that pallet. We can change the main colour to anything on that pallet, which changes the cab section. Design colour changes the supports. There are some metallics. There's a whole load. I mean, it's, like I say, it's worth having a look through. There'll be something to suit your taste. Uh, then we've got tyre options. We have Lizard. Zoom in a little bit. It's one of those menus. Lizard or Nokian. We've got normal and we've got steering rear axle on both. So on the Lizard or the Nokians, we've got normal or steering rear axle. Then crane colour. We can have red, orange, grey or black. Then windshield, no, so window shield, no, or the MAN etched section, as you can see there. Roof bar, no, 
Yes, with beacons. And you can add lights as well. Then bull bar, no. Yes, yes, with lights also. Those are the options. We hop in. Start up. You can see the lights down the front of the bull bars. Quite like those, actually. Like I say, there's a few little tweaks, a few little changes. Beacons on the top. If I go through my light options, like so. Horn. There's no doors or windows that open. Now, we do have two options. We've got crane and other. At the moment, it's on crane. If I do L1 and X, it unfolds the supports, unfolds the crane and puts me in the seat. What I thought was interesting about this one as well, it, it might have been on previous ones. I would have thought I would have noticed, but my character is kind of sat leaning to the side, so you can kind of see around the side of the crane. Like I said, I don't recall having noticed that before. Maybe that's been a long one. But... Camera options, we've got that camera there, in cab, that crane option, or this crane option. That one's a really handy one. I like that. Obviously, if you go to full extent, it puts it a bit further away, but that might make loading things a little bit easier. I know people don't always get on with the cranes. It, it can be a bit of a pain. So L1 and left stick. Sorry. L1 and right stick. Side to side does that. Up and down does that. It's usual crane controls. R1 and right stick up and down does that. Side to side does that. Then L1, R1. Side to side rotates. Up and down. Opens and closes. L1 and X, fold it away again. It'll put me back in the cab once it's done. There we go. Now what you can do when you've unfolded it, if you go from crane option to extra or other, I think it is, the support legs, you can manually adjust those if you want to. We do have straps that can be done from in-cab or manually, as you can see here. Rear steering axle. Yeah. Like I say, we have got a few of these. I, yeah, I don't I don't want to seem kind of underwhelmed. It's, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? You know, there are a few differences on this one, definitely. But anyway, there you go. The MAN TGS Short Wood by HR Forst und Fahrzeug Bau. I'm going to whiz over... Actually, we'll do these now. Next, we have got the, P the two PTS6A by FSSA Modding Team. 17.1 megabytes download, 11 slots on console. There are quite a few different options on this. I went for a double option on this one, then the much larger option on here. But what was interesting about this, and again, I haven't come across, is I had this bit on the back. There are a couple of options. We'll have a look at those. In the largest capacity, which I think is 19,000 and something. 19,100, I want to say. It is only a silage forage trailer. So it'll do your straw, chaff, grass, those kind of things. In the regular sizes, I think we've got a 6,500 and an 11. But again, we'll check that. Is your regular ones, but it will take pretty much everything in that configuration. It does have a rear trailer hitch, so as you can see, you can hook them together. But very nicely detailed. These ones, the FSSA modding team, they always look a little bit kind of weathered. And I like the fact that within the packs, you kind of get these almost pastel kind of faded colours with them. I just, I like those as an option. I think they're, they're quite cool. So under tools and trailers, the 2PTS6A, 4,400, nice and cheap. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette. Main colour, to anything on that palette. Design colour, changes the chassis. Let's go darker if you want. Then we've got capacity, 6,200 litres. We'll do pretty much everything. 11,100 litres. We'll do pretty much everything. Then we go to the 18,500. That is pretty much a silage trailer now, so we'll do a forage trailer. And then if we go to the next one, 19,100, you get that extra bit on the back. But again, that's a forage type trailer. And then we've got the option as a bale loading wagon, which will have straps. And they're back to 6.2. 
labels, we can have standard, or we can have PTS6A. I think it just makes them a little bit newer, bolder in the kind of writing. Then we'll set up, we've got the KF105s, KF105s and mudguards, then the KF97s, KF97s and mudguards. And then we can have spare wheel, yes or no. Hang on. Spare wheel, yes or no. It just puts it on off at the back. It's difficult to see, actually. Let's go that side. There we go. Those are the options. Now, I'm pretty sure I went with the front one left tip and the rear one regular tip because I thought what I could do, if it will work, we can utilise this at the same time. Oh no, because I've got sugar beet in there, haven't I? It's a regular, it's a regular uh, silo, isn't it? <coughs> That's okay. We can use this one. This is a multi-fruit, isn't it? Just to show them in operation. Normally I just tip on the floor, but I thought, well, I've got silos, so I might as well use them. There we go. So L1 and triangle. Side tip. It does tip as well as open at the side. Switch to the rear one. I put this on rear unload, like so. Sorry about that. Knock at the door, right in the middle of recording. Never mind. So that's the two PTS six A by FSSA modding team. Now, interestingly, or funnily enough. I mentioned the other day when we had some new trailers out that looked quite similar to this that I really missed the Stuart trailers that we had on FS17. Someone did comment and say there are some in production and here they are. Yes, they say lizard on them. Boo. But these are the lizard slash Stuart PS18-23H trailers by ARM team, 4.27 megabytes download, which I think is amazing. Um, Stuart trailers are based in Aberdeenshire, uh, near Inverurie. Um, I've got relatives that live near there. Um, the company was formed in 1988 by James and Mandy Stewart and still owned and operated by them. I love the fact we've got these options. I just, I'd, they look great, nicely detailed. Nice looking trailers. Now I say trailers, trailer, and then in various different configurations we have within that. I can't go over the slot count as well. Uh, I mean, six, there's six slots each, but 4.27 megabyte download as well. That's amazing. Yeah, anyway, you'll find them under tools and trailers. I'm kind of blown away because I was only talking about them the other day. I thought it was a bit weird that they just suddenly, you know, well, not suddenly, obviously someone's been working on them. There you go, 24,200 for the base model. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette there, if you wanted to. Main colour to anything on that palette there. There's all those to choose from. And then we can have grain body one, which is a flat top. Grain body two, which puts the arch top. Now this doesn't have a cover option. I've had a look through the different grain body options and various different things, there's no cover. And then we've got the silage body. Now with the silage body, as you might expect, that then becomes a forage trailer. I want to take your silage type crops. We've then got Trelleborgs with no options. Michelin, we've got Cargo XBib and XBib HFs for the two Michelin options. And then back to Trelleborg again. You can have it without mudguards or with mudguards. Actually, that puts the mudguards at the front there. And then we've got no livery, Scottish flag, or UK flag. Those are your options. Like I say, I do like as well with these is the highlights on them. So we have lights in the bottom there, but the highlights up there, especially for turning light for signal, that I signal very often, of course. And they have a, um, I think the beacon works. We need to double check that. A beacon up there as well. Let's double check it now, shall we? So, lights, indicators. That's cool. These do have a rear tip or grain door option on them. 
think I used these on Pokeville Farm. Is it? I think so. On FS17. Nice smooth animations. And the silage trailer is the same, just a larger trailer, that's all, but I'm glad to see a welcome return, even though I don't have Stuart on them. That's all good. So, turn the lights off. We come to the last of the mods for today. I don't think we've got any maps. We have got, uh, well, hang on. We have this. This is the Speed Tiller 475 disc. It's a case disc harrow. Now this is an interesting one in that it's a speed tiller because it runs faster. I think pretty much, or I'd say pretty much, most of the disc harrows run at about 10 miles an hour. This will run at 13, so significantly faster. Doesn't seem like very much, but when you put it into context, that's, that's a third of the speed again on top, isn't it? But it's 12.5 metres wide and it requires 600 horsepower to pull. So there are, obviously there are other cultivating alternatives which are wider and require less horsepower, but if you're a case fan in particular, you may want this, or if you want to cultivate at a slightly faster speed, you may want this. I did check to see if it would fast farm, in inverted commas, it won't. I think DJ normally checks for that, I don't normally, but I thought I'd have a look. Um, it's, it's nicely made, nicely detailed, quite compact when it's folded up. Um, this is... Where are we in my list? 13.84 megabytes download, 13 slots on console, and this is by LR Modding. You'll find it, as I said, under disc arrows. There you go, the Case IH Speed Tiller 475, 173,500. It's not cheap either. 600 horsepower, wow, 12.5 meters wide. There's no options available. You get it in the case red. I know I say this every time, but this may be the first time you're watching my videos. If you're wondering where on console I got the uh, John Deere 9RX from, this is part of the Borgo DLC. So if you get the Borgo DLC, you get the 9RX as part of that. There are the tractors that go up to 600 horsepower plus. I've pressed to unfold. It takes a little while before it starts to go. So if it doesn't move immediately, don't panic. It will go eventually. Nice animations on the unfold. But like I say, if I do L1 and double click X, it kind of lifts it, and you think, oh, I wonder. But when it goes... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no. That's where I first put it down. See, because I've slightly lifted it, it now won't cultivate. So it won't do the fast farming thing. Right, let's put it back down again properly. But it will go at 13 miles an hour. With enough horsepower to pull it, of course. It's very nicely detailed. I think you can really see the details here a lot more once it's unfolded. Which we'll have a quick look at now. In all its glory. But there you go. I love the size of the tyres on that. It's huge. So that's the uh, case... IH Speed Tiller 475 disc by LR Modding. And that's it for the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.